What are you watching? The Lion King. Why? I heard one of the main characters is a hornbill, and that's who the bakers are baking for today, our African grey hornbills. Uh, main character? <laughs> Has Simba's dad died yet? What? Spoilers! <laughs> you look as devastated as one of the bakers is about to be. Oh, I'll watch it now. Good, we've got work to do. It's the grand final, what we've all been waiting for. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Great, Great British, British Beak Off! You've never seen The Lion King? No! Makes sense. You'd be jealous of their luscious manes. <sighs> Our bakers are challenged with satisfying some omnivorous birds for the grand final. Some animals eat both plants and meat, and hornbills are one example. African grey hornbills are small birds from sub-Saharan Africa, with a very impressive beak and a very varied diet. Hornbills like Jack and Malika will eat seeds and some fruits and vegetables, alongside plenty of their favourite delicious insects and lots of different types of meat. What will the bakers decide to make for them? Sam is drawing on her Australian roots for this all-important bake. I'm, I'm taking us down under today for the final. You know the Australian theme was last year, right? Yeah, um, but I wasn't, I wasn't in last year, was I? Uh, so, what are you making for the hornbills then? Um, it's sort of a bush tucker trial type thing. We've got some crickets and some millworms and some moria worms, some little pinkies. We can kind of blend it together um, with some mystery meat. What meat is it? Um, it's beef. Oh, that's a relief. Did you think it was kangaroo? Kangaroo tastes awful. Well, hop to it then and good luck! Sam's Bill Bush Tucker Bonanza consists of two meat cakes made of beef and carrot and filled to the brim with bugs. So Sabrina, Hello. what are you cooking up for the most horned of bills then? Well, today I thought I would do a vegan dish. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, it's all the rage, isn't it? Veganism, it's an up and coming thing. Why not introduce it to our animals? Really? Talk us through it. Well, so I've got this carrot. I'm just slicing it up here and I'm going to make some little ho holes here where I'm going to fill it with some of these lovely bits here. I've got some pollen. I've got some pellets. They've been soaked. They've been soaking for a little while. I've got some other vegetables and uh, thought I'd go for something quite different and quite unusual. Yeah, it's, it's going to be very unusual. Look, Sabrina, Sabs, Sabby, you probably don't know the hornbills as well as I do. You, you, no, you don't. Uh, but I heard from the horse's beak that they really love their meat and insects. Okay, right. Are you not concerned not going for any meat or insects? No, Sam's doing meat. I mean, we can't all do the same. And if I'm going to win this, which I am, I'm doing a vegan dish. So veganism is a great idea for humans. It's very sustainable, it's good to eat less meat, helps lower the impact of climate change but there are some animals like the hornbills that do actually need meat are you not worried i thought i'd do something different uh, i think it's going to be a success though right okay so you think it's going to pay off do you absolutely why not be brave of course be, 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 be brave like mufasa was in the lion king Sabrina's vegan for victory is made of carrots stuffed with various veggie goodies like parsnip alongside pellets and pollen for decoration.
You've had 88 minutes of your time. How did you work that out? Lion King's just finished. Ah. Uh, did you like it? Meh. What? This show is always the same, same bake, same comments. I keep wanting to bite my nails, but they're covered in insect bits. Okay, that is new. It will be really interesting for them. It's a great fun game for them to play. Um, they'll find it interesting. And obviously, if it's not what they're used to eating, give them something new to try. We all like something new and exciting. You've had some criticism from the judges, haven't you? What piece of advice would you say has really stuck with you? Um, make better food? Yeah, that'll do it. It's good advice. Can you believe she's still going ahead with it? Yeah. Even though I told her that veganism is great for humans, it's fantastic, it's really helpful for the environment, but there are some animals that do need meat, and the hornbill's one of the few birds that do. Yep. That we have birds here that are herbivores, that she could feed vegan food to all day long, but the hornbills need their meat. Yep. Is she even a vegan? No, I don't think so, no. Right. So she's just chasing a trend for clout and a ruthless ambition to win? Correct, Amundo. Wow, I mean, well, Good luck to her. Do they have hornbills in Australia? Um, no. Hornbills are from Africa. Don't you know anything about Australia? Nope. They just give us the bird facts and we bring them to life. Little known fact about the beak off. The beak actually refers to Noel's nose. You have 15 minutes left. Why is everyone laughing? Looks like Sam's really enjoying her meat. We need to have a frank conversation about the level of innuendo in this show. Sinatra? Lampard? Skinner? Still feeling confident? Oh, absolutely. The design, the colour, the smells are glorious. Hornbills, not known for their sense of smell. Well, I, I'm enjoying it. Good that somebody is. What's the pond's coming everywhere? Yeah, there'll be bees everywhere. The great British bee off. Spin off? <gasps> Coming soon to E4! Um, it's my special guest, like hundreds and thousands, this garnish. One minute left! You're always so loud with that. Excited? I'm excited too. 59! 58!
Time's up, makers. All your bills must be horned. Does that make sense? No. Eh, I'm not an ornithologist. It's time for the judges to make their decision. Whose bake will they turn their beak up at? And who will get top billing? Malika is clearly thinking it through very carefully. Will it be a win for insects or a victorious V? It's Sam! Her bush tucker bonanza has all the key elements of the hornbill's diet and those insects are proving irresistible. She keeps coming back for more. Sabrina's vegan option might be a great choice for any humans looking to lower their own carbon footprint. But for hornbills, it just isn't enough. It's time to announce the winner. And the winner of the Great British Beak Off 2021 is... Sam! Bonza results! Fair dinkum! <laughs> no, we shouldn't do that. Well done. Commiseration, Sabrina. I think the best Sheila won. <laughs> Sorry, I really shouldn't say that. You beauty! Obviously a little bit disappointed. Um, I took a risk. I knew it was a bit of a gamble. Um, I'm going to get the whole family to try it. Do you like to take part in the Great British Beak Off? Well, with winter approaching, your garden birds need more help than ever. There are lots of commercially available bird feeds to keep your feathered friends happy and fed during the cold months. Or why not make your own bird feed? Let us know what you rustle up for them and what amazing birds you spot.